Hey everyone, let's say we want to create a program to test if a number is prime or not. Let's do that. So let's start off, call it program prime checker. And the first thing we need to do is get a, an input from, from the user. What number do we want to check? So test num we'll call it. And test num will get the integerized version of the input. put in a message please input number slash in so what I want to do is build up this program slowly so I want to show you each part as I go along so let's just check if I can read in the number and print it out so if I read in the number 6, it prints out the number 6. Perfect. Now let's create a new variable, which will be the, the value we're dividing the test number into to see if it divides in evenly. We'll call it divisor. And once that divisor starts off as being test num minus 1. Alright, and let's print divisor as well as test them. So we'll save that and run it. So if we put in the number 77, divisor is 76, so we could divide 77 into 76. And if we get uh, a remainder, it's a start. We need to divide it by 77, by 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, all the way down to number 2 though. So we need a loop and we'll do a while loop and we'll say that while the divisor is not one so we don't want the divisor to reach one we'll do we'll do divisor is assigned minus one take this print statement and put it in the loop instead and do an end while here so what are we doing here we've got a loop that's taking one away from divisor and we're going to keep taking one away from divisor until we reach the number one and we stop before we get into the number one so it should go all the way down to two so if we save and run this And we put in the number 77. It tells us that divisor starts at 76 and works all the way down to 2. So that's perfect. That's our divisor working well. Now what we really want to see is, does um, divisor divide evenly into test num? So we could do it using regular division for a start. If we run this, let's pick the number 7. We can see that the number 7, uh, none of the divisor values 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2 divide evenly into 7. Whereas if we run this for the number 9, we can see that the number 3 does divide evenly into. We've got, of course, division remainder as well, which I think is nicer for this. So if we run division remainder for 7, there's always a remainder. It's a remainder of 1 when we divide by 6, 2 when we divide by 5, 3 when we divide by 4, 1 when we divide by 3, and 1 when we divide it by 2. Whereas if we run it for the number 9, we see that 3 gives no remainder. So if we do this calculation, at any time we find a division that gives no remainder, then we know that the number isn't prime because 9 isn't prime because 3 goes into it evenly. So instead of the print statement, let's say if, if that works out to be equal to 0 at any point in the loop, then what we know is 
we should print the number is not prime. Let's line things up correctly. So let's save that and run it. So let's try it for the number seven. No message comes out there. Let's try for the number nine now. It tells us nine is not prime. Perfect. This is working well. So if any division goes incorrectly, it's not prime. Evenly, rather, it's not prime. Whereas the only way we'll know if it is prime if we do all the divisions, and then we get uh, we don't get a, a, any even divisions. So the way we do this, the handiest thing to do is create a boolean variable here we call it is prime and it's false if we do a division that results in zero remainder. So let's start off by assuming that the that the, that the number is prime and then if we ever do a division in the loop in this part that results in an even division, then we set it to be false. If all our divisions always give a remainder, then it's it's just going to stay as true. So at the end of this loop, what we can do is we can say if is prime is true, then I'm going to say test number is prime. Else test number is not prime. So let's see if this works. We'll close the end diff as well. Super. So let's say the number 9 is not prime, whereas the number 7 is prime. Perfect, so that's working well now. And that's checking whether a number is prime or not. And our two chunks of code essentially are the one chunk that's looking at going through all the divisions and only setting is prime to false if we get an, uh, an even division in. And then the second chunk is printing out the information. Let's say instead of taking input from the user, as we do here, what, what, if we want to instead just print out the first 100 numbers and see whether they're prime or not, what we could do is have a for loop. And we could say for test num in range 2 to 101, colon, do so in this case, we're saying start at 2, check if 2 is prime, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up. And then we have to tab everything else out, because everything falls within the for loop now. All the blocks of code do. So we need to move them all, indent them in properly, so that they all sit within the for loop, which controls everything. So because we have the if statement within the for loop, we're going to print out each number 1 to 2 to 100 and tell us whether it's prime or not. That is if I've done this code correctly. So let's have a look and see. Let's save it and run it. And here we go from 100 all the way back to the number 2. We're seeing uh, 2 and 3 are prime, 4 isn't, 5 is, 6 isn't, 7 is, 8 and 9 aren't, and so on and so forth. So this program is allowing us to determine which numbers are prime and which aren't, simply by putting a for loop around our code. 
So I hope that makes sense and thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.